Hey, good day YouTube. This is J Rock Transportations, and so I kind of make it a switch over from TikTok to YouTube uh, because my videos can be a little longer, and I realize I can answer more questions. So, uh, for those that follow me on TikTok, you know it's J Rock Transportation, and I try to help everybody out. So, I'm not, I don't discuss business that I don't know. I only can talk about what I do know and how I started, and uh, try to maybe help point people the right directions but it's getting to the to the point to where you know people are jumping in this this van life or this uh, expediting life and uh don't want to do no research don't want to uh you know don't don't want to do the work for themselves uh you know it's kind of like you're trying to ask your buddy to hook you up with your with your girlfriend's girl you know it's like come on man you gotta do the work so and that's that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to help people without putting out too much information that's going to hurt me or fellow uh, expediters. Now I've had, I've helped a lot of people in the past, and I've helped a lot of people uh, find carriers, find different apps they can use. You know, let them know what kind of good cities they are. In my perspective, uh, I can't speak on what everybody else does. I don't know what everybody else does, so I can only do. I can only tell you what I know, and I tell you the, from the beginning. I did about three or four months research. Uh, I did watch some YouTube. I watched some TikTok. Uh, I think that's the trend now. People watch that and jump in, and that was, you know, that was kind of the trend on when I did it. But I wanted to do some research before I really did it. Now, is three or four months enough research? I don't know. It worked for me because I already had a game plan. And I didn't start out in expediting when I got my van. I, I was going, that was my intention to. But I started out doing other stuff like roadie and VHO and stuff like that, just local stuff. Uh, what I'm having a hard time doing is uh, getting in contact with uh, local logistic companies. Uh, you know, something they have their pick, you know. So they're kind of getting that. So I work with a carrier without an MC. I don't have an MC. But I, I do work with a carrier. I work with several carriers. And uh, I'm going to go over that too in this in this video. Maybe help out a little bit. Because this is kind of a starter video. It's, it's my first YouTube video. I just feel it's a bigger platform. I can reach more people. Because I'm all about to help. And you can ask people who's them on TikTok. And maybe somebody will come and subscribe. And, and, and comment on this. Let you know that I, hey, I've hel I have helped them. And uh, you know I'm, that's what I'm in here for. To try to help people. So, down the road, I'm going to go over the loads I've done, the numbers I've done, and uh, stuff like that. But just as for this video here, I'm going to tell you that I do things a little different. I add my money up a little different uh, because I may not have the overhead that some people have. So, it's all going to be a little different. Now, I will say, though, I do keep track of my miles, the gas I spend, and then the profits. And so for me to get to that point, I had to I had to figure out what I was comfortable with, what kind of money I was comfortable making, uh, you know, how many miles I was willing to drive, how many hours I was willing. So in that aspect, it's kind of the same with everybody, but I look at it a little differently. Uh, you know, from when I had a nine to five, I knew how much money I needed to make, and then I knew how much money I needed to be comfortable. And sometimes it wasn't always like that. Uh, you know, you had to work 60, 70, 80 hours to get, you know, great checks and a lot of jobs. You know, a lot of people make money in different parts of the United States a little more. You know, I, I hear on the West Coast, they make a lot more money, but rent's higher, mortgages are higher, gas is higher. You know, so it's just all different in every parts of the world. Uh, so what I did was I went and got my cargo van i got my insurance after i watched bunch and bunch and bunch of tape uh youtube tiktoks uh i'm not saying it's the right way to go but i'm saying that's the way i went and uh i did find some several several solid solid uh, channels uh now i don't like the name channels because i don't want to think somebody i don't want nobody to think that i think a certain person is better than another person in the expediting world or just in cargo vans 
Uh, Cause there's guys I can talk about that have cargo vans that do everything but expediting, but I can't comment because I've never done that. And there's a there's a couple good dudes on there for that. You know, you, it's easy to pull up, just pull up expediting cargo vans. Uh, there's a couple guys on there, really really good to give a good information. Does a lot of other stuff. Uh, later on, I'll name some. I'll probably name some uh, expediting YouTube pages that I know that I watch. So. I, that's why I'm gonna say I watch these because I just haven't seen others. All right. So, uh, but for my case is I went and got my van. I got my insurance, which I think I paid a thousand down. I pay roughly five hundred a month, somewhere in there, a little more, a little less. Uh, and it does vary every month. I don't know why, but it does. I use uh, I use Progressive for my insurance, and uh. In my car, my truck van, uh, my cargo van, I have a payment on it every month. It's about seven fifty, and so, so I take that. That's automatically thirteen hundred dollars a month. Then you got your gas, which is a lot of gas. You know, depends where you are. Like I say, depends where you are, and the way rates are now. I've seen them here in Texas, especially, go from two eighty nine to three three twenty. So. And in the van that I got, I have a Dodge Ram Pro Master, but I have a 1500. It only carries two pallets. Now, this is what I love about it. I hear people trash these trucks. Oh, they can't do this. And you're right. We're not going to haul 160 inches in, in this. We're not going to pull, I don't know, 7,000 pounds. We're not going to do none of that in this truck. I carry two pallets, one pallet, one pallet mainly all the time. But so. I will say this. I don't have a lack of work with this van here. All right? It's it's a little cheaper than the Ford and the Mercedes. You got that kind of money you want to spend it? Go ahead and knock yourself out. They're great vehicles. So I'm not telling you to go one to whatever one you want to. I'm just, you know, I chose this one because I didn't know what I wanted to do for sure for the next five or ten years. But I think I'm, I'm definitely going to stick with this expediting because, for one... The main reason I got in this is so I can be my own boss. That's my reason. Everybody got to figure out your own reason. My reason is because I wanted to be my own boss. All right. So now with, with that entail, I have to take the good with the bad weeks, right? So, but I make sure I make enough money to clear what I need to clear. And like I say, I have a wife at home that helps, right? I'm not just doing this on my own. Uh, you know, I... I try to generally stay local. Now, in Texas, it's different than local than a lot of other places because Texas is 1,000 miles across the state. I mean, I went all the way. I've, I've been to El Paso and all the way to Texas, Canada. You know, so it's, it's when I say local, local here could be 800 miles real easy. You know, so is it local? Not really, but it's in the state of Texas. But I get plenty of loads. You got to fight and tooth and nail sometimes. I mean, it just, you know, it's, it's just sometimes it gets rough, but sometimes it's a good life. So I don't try to deter anybody from not doing this. So I'm going to give you just the information that I started with. We'll go from there. And I, I kind of got off the subject there a little bit, but I did. I went and got my, my truck, my insurance, and I found, uh, like I say, for the first month, I was still working in my other job before I left it to do this, but I started doing roadies on the weekends. You know, and I got in that little groove doing road as Vho. Uh, man, sometimes I was even doing a Grubhub or, or stuff like that in this van. Anything to do to make extra money. And so, excuse me. I thought I had to sneeze. <coughs> so I did. But anyway, so I started doing all that before I was doing this. And, uh, so after I built that up, got confidence, uh, man, believe it or not, on the roadies where I lived, uh, I had to go to Dallas and stuff, but, you know, it was, man, you can make two fifty, three hundred dollars $300 a day at roadies, and then all of a sudden it kind of died off uh, in, in Texas. I mean, I don't know why it died off as bad as it did, but it did, like, after Christmas, it was hard to get a bunch of roadies. So, but by that time, fortunately, I done left my job, got on with a carrier. Now, I'm going to say this about carriers. And I had to learn, right? And I'm glad I learned it. 
So I'm going to say 80% of expediting and carriers and companies are going to, I don't want to say foreigners. I don't want to come off like that, but it's a lot of different nationalities and you have to have a lot of trust because to where if you're on a regular Facebook page, <laughs> you know, and you see different handwriting for names and stuff like that that you can't read, you know, it's not an American thing. Ah, it's a scam. Well, you know, in this business, there is scams too. But, you know, so I had to learn to trust uh, different nationalities. I had to learn to talk to different kind of people. And I, I say that my kids are mixed, so I've, I've always dealt outside of my race was no big deal and uh so you know it has nothing to do with nothing but my wife is black so I, i've always dealt outside of my race anyway but when it comes to different nationalities in this expediting game you have to you have to be open-minded okay and then i would suggest before you go get on with the carrier check their mc out go to the better business bureau and, and do that work before you just offer your services you know and get scammed out of your money or whatever get screwed uh, all right so i got my van my insurance i started working for a carrier uh so i do pretty good uh like i say mine are very every week uh how much money i make i'm not gonna give the exact dollar amount but i do i do better than i was doing in my nine to five uh for most weeks and after that, you know, I just felt, I just felt like I want to get more carriers. And so the more carriers you have also, the better chance you are to get loads. Uh, there are carriers out there that let you work with other carriers. Uh, there's some companies that are, are forced dispatch. Don't want you to work with no other carriers and you have to, you know, sit and wait. Uh, but I, I'm still independent at this time. I have a cousin, and I posted this on Facebook. That I, I'm gonna give a couple shout out Facebook page, but there's a Facebook page called the Union, and on there's a lot of good information. Uh, I posted this the other day about a company called V3. I don't know, I really don't know how they are. I can tell you how my cousin does. He's only been with it for a couple weeks, and he loves it. Uh, they pay for your insurance. Well, you got to pay for your insurance, but it's it's way cheaper than you would if you had it by yourself. I want to say he pays sixty five to seventy five dollars a week for insurance, and uh, and they pay weekly on Mondays. But I know they offer you half the freight when you get it. They put it on a uh, gas card, and they and you can do whatever you want to put it into your own account. Use it for gas. You know, this if you're starting with not much in your bank account and uh, a lot of people start that way all right so that's not, that's several routes so you can get your big carriers uh like i say uh big uh v3 barrett i don't know much about these other ones but i'm telling you the ones i can put out there if you're looking for work uh boat one uh man it's probably a select there's uh, the only ones I know, V3, uh, Panther. I don't know how good they are. You hear up and down about Panther. Uh, Fox Carriers is a big one that a lot of people use. I use Fox. Uh, you know, it all depends on how you want to get paid. Uh, and there's, a, there's one or two private uh, people that I know that I've, that I've reached out to and they've reached out to me that I trust. And, uh, and uh, you can just comment comment down below and I can give that information out if they want me to I need to talk to them uh, but a lot of other stuff that you can do with your van but uh, besides just expediting but I just mainly expedite right now so I know it's kind of been all over the place I'm just giving you general information I don't want to give you to the information where you you go get your you know what you have to do step by step by step uh, you gotta get your EIN, you know, EIN, LLC, MC, that's all the main protocols, you know, uh, get your van, your insurance, you know, there's several steps like that. All I did was get my EIN number, uh, 
which technically you don't have to use it, but I like to get it. And everybody hollers M uh, dot 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 dot. You, you're gonna get a dot when you get your uh, MC, but you don't need a dot number in, in this. Not right now, anyway. Uh, in my own opinion, I think stuff's gonna change later down the road, but who knows? But uh, other than that, man, that's just information. This you know, just general information right now today about this company. Uh, I say this company. Sorry, I'm distracted about what I'm doing. All right, so hope it wasn't jerky, you know, all the way through. I just trying to put myself out there on YouTube, try to gain a lot more uh, people that can see this, and maybe I can help out. So we'll start from here. I'll put out another video. Uh, so just to go back, I went and got my van and my insurance and EIN number, right? Which when I feel carrier packets out, I don't put EIN number down. I just put my social security number down. So I, I do all that. And I, I have several carriers. I have one carrier that keeps me busy so I don't have to use other ones. But I have several apps too. There's a lot of apps. Go to your Play Store on your phone and download expediting apps. And there'll be a jillion of them come up. Right? So, I, I mean, I, I've helped two or three people in the last two or three days. Give them just that basic information and they're already rolling. So, you know, depends on how much you pay for insurance. If you want to go to a, a, a carrier that provides insurance and you can work with them. Uh, like I say, there's a few of them already give. V3, Barrett, uh, Fox. Them are the three biggest ones that I do know. Uh, there's probably more out there. I'm sure there is. But them are the biggest ones that I know, being a newbie. Uh, been in it, like I say, about five months. So after a year, I'm going to quit calling myself a newbie. Uh but I, but it's scary out here too. It's scary if you if you're not careful, you get you can get behind in a month or two and lose your van and everything you got if you don't have a game plan. So I suggest you get a game plan. You do some research. Then when you finally comfortable with your research, you want to get a van and get your insurance. Go do that, right? But I'm telling you, from the time I started, I was talking about that Facebook page, the Union, on there. When I got on that page, it was 2,500 people. So four or five months later, there's 10,000 people on there now that's, that's joined. There's 10,000 in that group. So I see people come and go every day. You know, you're going to have to have some goal about you. Get out here and work. You know, and try not to be that one that says, I'm going to get my van, my insurance, and I need some help. Right? Yeah, I get it everybody needs help and i had somebody explain this to me through a video which made a lot of sense this guy is pretty big on tiktok i don't want to shout out personal names yet i will get down the road but he's pretty big on tiktok one of the top two or three probably maybe four on tiktok speaking of the devil he comes a panther right now uh in the ram van so but anyway, and you'll spend a lot of time at Love's gas station. You'll spend a lot of time at uh, Travel gas station. You'll spend a lot of time at Bucky's parking lots, uh, Planet Fitness. That, that's more we'll talk about down the road. But but anyway, the guy on TikTok, he told me, he goes, man, I've helped all I can help, but I have a family to feed. And he's exactly right. I give that man a lot of credit because, you know, he's helped all he can help. You know, then you got to start looking out for yourself. So that's why I think sometimes a lot of people just don't want to throw out a whole lot of information. I just give you companies you can go to that are big companies that can work, probably pay for your insurance too. Uh, you know, Florida, I hear their insurance is high as hell down there. Seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars premiums. You know, Jesus Christ, it's a lot. But anyway, I know this video is a little too long, but I just wanted this to be my introduction video. I'm finna. I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of uh, videos that I'm gonna use to post on this uh, moving freight. I got one today I'll post, I'll post it a little later. But anyway, like it, subscribe it, and hate it, whatever you wanna do, leave a comment on that. I'm new to this, I'm trying to gain followers. Anyway, I appreciate your time, and everybody keep rolling.